Ladies and gentlemen, we may have an upset brewing. Mighty Doug Vanheim checking in. Welcome to this week two college football showdown between the Utah Ueys, ranked number 12, down 13 to 6 against the Baylor Bears. Baylor Bears lost last week to Texas State in a high scoring game and an upset. Baylor wasn't ranked, but still they say it was an upset because, you know, Baylor was the bigger college. So, hope you guys enjoyed Thursday's video of Madden Mobile testing. If y'all want to see more Madden Mobile videos, comment down in the comment section below. And speaking about the NFL season coming back, as here's a throw, it's caught! Oh, what a catch! Another first down. End of second quarter, Clemson and Charles, Charles Southern are tied 14-14. Yeah, Clemson's been not so good. Ever since they lost Trevor Lawrence's class, well, they lost Trevor Lawrence. They haven't been playing really that well. I mean, DJ Ungle went to Oregon State. He got Drenner over and... Oh, he's playing around. First down again. So on Thursday night, the Kansas City Chiefs kicked off. Well, I should say the defending champs, Kansas City Chiefs, kicked off against the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions with a 21-20 upset win over the Kansas City defending champs. Oh! What a catch again. Utah might have to go for two. Or, well, they can actually tie the game and go for one. They want to. It's second and one. You're Utah. You got to do something. Three minutes to go. Colorado. Buffaloes versus Nebraska Cornhusker. Here's a run. And a first down. And goal. First and goal. 245 remaining in this game. First and goal. Baylor has to switch out. So next up is Texas A&M versus the Miami Hurricanes. The Aggies in the rank number 23. Hoping for a win over my, the upstart Miami Hurricanes. And then 7 Eastern time. Number 11 ranked Texas Longhorns. Versus the Alabama Crimson Tide. Well, rank number three, that is seven Eastern time. Back to throw. End zone, incomplete. Incomplete, second and goal. 2.07 to go. So, Utah 1 0, winning over Florida. Baylor, like I said, 0 1 after losing to Texas State. We had some rain and thunderstorm delays as Notre Dame, NC State was on a rain delay. Well, actually, a thunderstorm delay. They were playing the rain, but they won't play in thunderstorm, which is a good idea. So, like I said, more NFL action tomorrow. I'm excited for week one. Pittsburgh Steelers versus 49ers. Browns versus Bengals. The run, and he's going to be stopped. Oh, my God. Two minutes, almost a minute to go. Clock is winding down. Utah's got two timeouts. Baylor's got three. Who's going to call timeout? So Utah will call timeout. No, Baylor will call their first. My bad. Baylor's calling their first timeout. But hey, you know, this game's unreal. You know, nobody expected to be this close. You know, Baylor, they lost to Texas State, Utah, and a big win over Florida. So, it is very, very close. So, yeah, NFL Week 1, can't believe it. You know what I mean? Time goes by quick. I remember, like, the NFL used to drag, but now it's like as time goes on, you're like, wow, it's already here. You know what I mean? But... This is what it is. So. Wow. MLB season is winding down. Month left. As, you know, we got some good matchups. 
for the MLB. Next, oh, actually, this coming Thursday will be Yankees versus Red Sox. Yankees trying to stay in the race, which, you know, I, I do, man, you know, still make it competitive as much as you can before your season's over. And like I said, in 2018, it was weird. It was, like, very, very weird. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this. It was five years ago. I was a sophomore in high school. Well, actually, yeah, well, freshman, sophomore. Late 2018 season, I was a sophomore sophomore and then when it started I was a freshman but yeah the Red Sox were leading the American League East in in the standings Yankees were second close then it Rays Blue Jays and then the Orioles were rebuilding which you know the Orioles look at them now five years later they're in first place you know what I'm saying it's crazy you know the Red Sox are in third place and the Rays are in second place. The Yankees are in last, unfortunately. So, all right. So later on in the MLB, as you guys can tell by my hat, the San Diego Padres take on the defending World Series champs, the Houston Astros. Houston trying to stay alive in the playoff race. Actually, it's a three-way race in the American League West. Texas Rangers, Houston Astros, and the Seattle Mariners, if you believe it. Sunday Night Baseball will be a road test. Utah, next row games. Oregon State, September 29th. October 21st, number 6 ranked USC Trojans. And number 8 ranked on November 11th, Washington Huskies. We got ourselves a score alert. Clemson just scored in the 20... In the second quarter, Clemson just scored after a big loss last Monday against Duke, which Duke is known as to be a basketball college, not a football. But they're trying to change that program around. Here it comes. Dern and goal. Can Utah cash it in? They're going to run in they do. Touchdown, Utah. Oh, wait a minute. They left too much time for Baylor. They left way too much time for Baylor. Baylor can literally go down the field and score a touchdown or a field goal. Wow. Dang, bro. That is unreal. Now all they got to do is make this extra point to tie the game. Here we go. Here's the goal. It is up and it is good. So 13-13. Yeah. Utah with a touchdown ties the game. We're tied 13-13. Can Baylor run down the field and score an upset field goal win? That will be unbelievable. I think it would be. You know, you already got, you know, a tie game. Baylor doesn't want overtime. They want to get this upset win after losing to a, you know, a smaller college in Texas State, you know. Oh, man. Wow. And people are wondering, well, how come you're not doing, you know, Colorado Buffaloes versus Nebraska Cornhuskers, a rivalry reborn? <laughs> That's a cool hat, though. <laughs> but, hey, Caleb Williams, the USC Trojans, they'll be playing against Stanford in a late night West Coast showdown, Pac 12 showdown, as I should say. As USC w would hopefully make it 2 0.
<laughs> UCF will take on Boise State. Houston will take on Rice. Houston has some pretty fire uniforms. Throwback in it to, well, some Houston Oilers throwback. So pretty much Houston had the red, but then they had, they put in the, the Columbia blue in, making them the Houston, kind of paying homage to the Houston Oilers, which is a good idea, you know what I mean? But, you know, I mean, look at the Tennessee Titans. They're paying homage to the Houston Oilers because that was originally their name before they moved to Tennessee. So, that was pretty cool. Oklahoma State Cowboys takes on Arizona State Sun Devils. But, man, oh, man. The NFL kicks off tomorrow. Cooper Cup will... So, he will... So, all right. So, he will miss at least four games with a hamstring injury. I know Christian Watson's out. Bucks will not extend what we're seeing on Oh, come on, Bucks. Don't do this. You gotta extend Mike Evans. Dude, come on, Buccaneers. Don't do this. It is what it is, you know. I mean, you know, that's why I like the Buccaneers is because of Mike Evans, you know. I mean, hey, the Buccaneers, they're gonna be wearing them creamsicle throwbacks. I'm excited for that. And we wearing them for the first time in like 11 years. And speaking about Texas State, they take on UTSA. And here we go. Utah's going to kick it away. Can they at least get something going here on defense? Or will Baylor get the upset win? That ball's going to go. Oh, he's going to run. He's going to run. Oh, he gets away from one tackle. And he's inside at least a 25. With 154 to go. Bills. Jets. Monday Night Football. Battle of New York. And why not have it on a September 11th day? On a day that will live in infamy, September 11, 2001. Your boy wasn't even, I wasn't even born yet. I was born like a year later in 2002. So here we go. Swire Robinson, the sophomore. Baylor, quarterback. Holding the lead his team to a game winning upset drive. And there's a flag down. We got our score alert. Colorado is just pouring it on. Against Nebraska. Now, if anybody does not know, back when Nebraska and Colorado were in the Big 12, they were big rivals. The last time those two played in football, Nebraska destroyed Colorado 45 to like 17 in 2010. So, first and 15. It's a fan of Dean. Let's go, Baylor. Oh, 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 my God. Brought down. It's second down. Second down and 16. Yeah, the only time I'll film a blowout if it's unexpected and it's an upset. Now, I know I didn't film the, how can I say this, the LSU versus Florida State. Yeah, that was a blowout. People said that was an upset. Should I film it? Yes. But at the same time, who wants to watch a blowout? You know what I'm saying? This is more, you know, of a game. You know, Baylor and Utah. So, started 80, 70 yards. And then, so he's throwing an intercept. So, both Utah's quarterback... And both Baylor's quarterback, they both thrown an interception each. Back to throw. He's going to go deep. Oh! He had him. 
They had Presley open. Are you kidding me? He had him wide open. Oh my. He literally had him. Oh, he was all damn close. He was literally close of having him. That would have been a touchdown for sure. Or at least a field, at least a game winning drive. Here we go, they're gonna try it again. Back to throw. Here he goes. Look out! Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! He got his he throws! And it's intercepted! Oh my god! Oh my god! Utah has a chance to take a game winning field goal or at least a touchdown. Oh, that's not what you wanted to do. Wow. Woo-wee. He's just watching the number eight. He's like, oh, give me that ball. Turnover. Bad turnover by Baylor. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. I mean, to be honest with you, Colorado versus Nebraska in the first half, it was very sloppy football, especially from Nebraska. They were down 13 to nothing, then they scored a touchdown. Now, pretty much, Colorado's ran away with the game. Now, all Utah's got to do is run down the clock and score a field goal. They can score a touchdown if they want, but I'm not the coach. They can do what they want. They're going to run it, and they will. As time is winding down, Utah's trying to get at least the last bit of the clock they can. Baylor trying to preserve time as much as they can. Wow. Second time out made by Baylor. They're trying to preserve time. Utah's trying to run down the clock. So all they can do is just kick a field goal. It's good. Game over. NC State just scored with 1.16 to go in the second quarter. It's 10 to 7, NC State. So it's a three point game. Wow. Number eight on Utah, he's a beast. My God, he just freaking killed him. Bang! And he made it again. Interception. He got hit as he threw, so there's not much there. So we got a final score, a blowout. The defending champs, Georgia Bulldogs, defeat Ball State 45-3. to I mean, nothing big there. Georgia just dominated. UNLV takes on number two ranked Michigan. As Jim Harbaugh still on a three-game. He's got, what, two games ago? He's got a three-game suspension. Texas, Alabama, I'm excited for that one. Second and three. Second and three. And they're going to run. Not much there. Not much there at all. Third and three. Baylor got a final timeout. As we're running this video on almost pretty much to 20 minutes, if you can think that. So third and three. I mean, heck, you know, Utah can literally seal the deal on this win. With 126 to go. So Utah has a chance. Ohio State defeats Young, Young Youngstown State 35 to seven. Ohio State's looking all right. I mean, yeah, they look pretty bad against. Who did they play last week? Indiana? Yeah, they played pretty bad against Indiana. Defense played good, but offense played pretty bad. Penn State dominates Delaware 63-7. to Man, they need to stop with this whole playing small colleges. We all know they're going to blow them out. Unless you're Appalachian State, who son Michigan back in 2007. All right, third and three. Here we go. Utah's going to run as much clock down as they need. Here they go. They're going to run the ball. And they run it. Oh, touchdown. And there's. Oh, flag down. Oh, no. 
Oh no, flag is down. Uh oh. Holding. Oh no, you can't do that, man. Oh no. And you think it's over and it's not. And a call like that just screws you up. Damn. That is unreal. That is unreal. How did he hold him? Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, he's holding him, dude. You should let him go. Oh. You didn't have to do it, bro. Oh. It's alright, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's third and four. They can still win this game, you talk into it as long as they don't do anything dumb. Oh, oh my. One tank team to go. Third and four. All Utah's to do is run down the clock. Kansas State. Destroys Troy, forty-two to thirteen. Oh boy! So Utah trying to come back and steal the deal on the comeback. I mean, they were really pretty much close. It looked like it was gonna be an upset, but Baylor threw a pick. Now they're under review. Man. So like I said, we may. Which means it may happen. But it's probably not because Utah's got plenty of... Well, like I said, Baylor can... The only way Baylor can literally get this upset win... If Utah misses a field goal and they go down field... Or what they could do is... Is if you know Utah and there's our kicker number 36 hoping to get a game winning field goal with 119 to go now they want to run as much clock down as they can third and six 119 to go here comes Utah Wisconsin Washington State I believe last year Washington State won over the Badgers. So third and six. Ole Miss Taloon, the Green Wave versus the Rebels, an unreal game that people don't believe. So one nineteen to go. Oh, bye, Here's the run. It's going to be with a run. Got away. And it's a first down. Oh, my God. Time is winding down, so now all they got to do is run down the clock. And a game-winning field goal, or they can do a touchdown, and they don't matter, and they will. Alright, they're going to run it. Utah's going to run down the clock. So Utah's trying to milk it as much as they can, which is what they want to do. As Colorado will seal the deal on a dominating win, a dominating second-half win, over in Nebraska. All right, here we go. We're gonna milk down the clock. There's another run. Oh, oh, whoa, what is he doing? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think he wanted to score. It's a touchdown. I think he, yeah, it's a touchdown. He didn't want to run. He wanted to get a field goal. 
Okay, that is very interesting to know. Charleston State, I mean, Charles and Charles and Charleston Southern just scored a field goal against Clemson. Oh my god. All right, that's interesting. So, 17 seconds to go. Baylor needs a miracle to at least tie this game. Oh, is that extra point good? Oh my god, it's good. Oh my god. That's all good. So all they don't need to do is a miracle. Oh my god. Whatever, one's a one, right? They just pushed him in. Look like Baylor Bear fans are leaving. Hey, you got 17 seconds left. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. You know, you don't want to leave. Tora yards in the fourth quarter. 166 of four. Oh, my God. Yeah, Utah just completely annihilated them. Virginia and James Madison's on delay. A lot of thunderstorms have been going by. And they're gonna go over middle. And here we go. Baylor's gonna run. He is gonna run. We see him here. Oh! Not much. So 13 seconds to go. No timeouts left for Baylor. A miracle is in hands to tie this game, or they can score a touchdown and go for two and get the upset win and get out of there. So Sawyer Robinson, two interceptions. Not much he could do. So here we go. Oh. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Mailer with a chance to at least tie it. They're going back to pass. Oh, they're going to draw, and they do get out of bounds. Which we want to do is get a quick, you know, state. Halftime, Notre Dame leads 17-7 to over the NC State. Well, Notre Dame leads 17-7 to over NC State. All right, back to throw. Looking, going deep, and I mean deep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the frick did I just saw? Oh my. Oh my god. One second left. They got one second left. Are you kidding me? Baylor. Wow. Yo, that's unreal. One second to go. Oh, good God. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? In one second left, anything can happen here. This changes what would be a Hail Mary type of scenario. Yo, this is unreal. This is unfreaking real. All right, so under review is at one second left. It should be. 
Oh my god! This is getting crazier and crazier by the freaking minute! Oh, yo! Baylor fans can't believe it. They are praying for a miracle right now. They are literally in a huddle praying. Please, we gotta get a touchdown. We need something. For the love of God, Boston College is on delay too. I think they got storms going by. Man, a day of delays. Jesus, and we too. Virginia, first time playing at home since that unfortunate shooting that happened. Oh, look out! He's gonna throw! Oh! No, do it! No, do it! Utah with a comeback win in the fourth quarter. And they went bye bye to Baylor. Final score Utah Ewes 20. Baylor Bears 13. I'm sorry, there shouldn't be no flag on that play. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm signing off. We'll see y'all in the next video.